Hello there everyone. I'm Daisy, joining you from Melbourne, Australia, and welcoming you to Fit Compounder, the podcast where we aim to turn the tide on health habits and lead you to a healthier, happier you. Our mission? To share practical, research-backed advice to improve your health and quality of life. For more in-depth discussions on the topics we talk about, remember to click on the link in the description for the full version of each episode. Ready to transform your life? Let's take this step towards health together. In today's episode, I'll share a personal journey, a quest I embarked on for the health of my dear mother, who is living with diabetes. One day, while on my usual grocery run, my eyes fell upon a product named Sparkling Ice, a brand of flavored sparkling water. My first thought, could this be a good option for diabetics like my mother? I knew I needed to dig deeper. Sparkling Ice, as I learned, is a zero-calorie, zero-sugar, and low-carb beverage that utilizes artificial sweeteners for taste, making it an enticing option for those managing their sugar levels. It's also a delicious way to stay hydrated, which is key for everyone, particularly for those with diabetes. However, like all things, it's essential to consider the other side of the coin. Artificial sweeteners may lead to a greater desire for sweet foods and drinks, something I've witnessed with my mom. Additionally, it's crucial to keep an eye on other ingredients present in sparkling ice and consult your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. There are other alternatives out there too, like unsweetened iced tea, naturally flavored water, or club soda mixed with a dash of 100% fruit juice. Remember, each individual is unique, and what works best may vary, so be sure to check with a healthcare professional. From my perspective and with my mom as my inspiration, it seems sparkling ice could potentially be an appropriate choice for some diabetics when consumed in moderation. It's essential, though, to evaluate personal circumstances and always consult with a healthcare provider. This conversation is just the tip of the iceberg. To dive deeper into the discussion, make sure to follow the link in the description for the full text version of this episode. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and let's keep moving forward on this journey to wellness.